God bless you, brothers and sisters in Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and all who's watching over me and mine. So I want to read a little bit further in the book of Matthew 24, starting at verse 32, the parable of a fig tree. Now learn this parable from the fig tree. When its branch has already become tender and puts forth leaves, you know that summer is near. So you also, when you see all these things, know that it is near at the doors. Assuredly, I say to you, this generation will by, by no means pass away till all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will by no means pass away. Amen. Praise Jesus. No one knows the day or hour. Starting at verse 36, but of that day and an hour, no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, but my father only. But as the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of the son of man be. For as in the days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark and did not know until the flood came and took them all away so also will be the coming of the Son of Man. Then two men will be in the field, one will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding at the mill, one will be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore, you also be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Amen. The faithful servant and the evil servant. Who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his master made ruler over his household to give them food in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he comes, will find so doing assuredly i say to you that he will make him ruler over all his goods but if that evil servant says in his heart my master is delaying his coming and begins to beat his fellow servants and to eat and drink with the drunkards the master of that servant will come on a day when he is not looking for him and at an hour that he is not aware of and will cut him in two and appoint his portions with the hypocrites there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And the Lord is speaking about being ready um, um, at any day and any hour, which leads us right into um, the parable of the wise and foolish ver versions, which is uh, basically saying the th same thing, to be ready. Then the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to the ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Now five of them were wise and five were foolish. Those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight a cry was heard, Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, pardon me, <clears throat> saying, No, lest there should not be enough for us and you, but go rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding, and the door was shut. Afterward, the other virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, I do not know you. Watch, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. You know, the Holy Spirit was prompting me um, when I got, when I was reading about to hear, I had had a vision, um, a while back and I wrote it down. I was going up this long set of steps with Jesus 
And in my right hand, I had uh, a lamp and it, it was lit and it was lit up. Um, and in this vision, Jesus said to me, you will not need this here, the lamp. And immediately in the vision, it disappeared um, because Jesus lights up all of heaven. And I thought that was so encouraging. I thought, wow, um, just how amazing uh, Jesus is. And um, I wanted to share that with you. Also, um, when it's speaking about, you know, the supper um, of the marriage of the Lamb. See, Jesus is our bridegroom. Amen. And um, I just wanted to share that uh, I, I've also had visions of the um, the wedding supper and um, the tables being prepared and things like that. It's pretty cool how amazing the Lord is where he likes to give us confirmations and encouragement um, because the times are trying. And as Christians, um, we, we are already being persecuted. And um, I believe there's more persecuted, persecution coming um, to all Christians. But um, Jesus is amazing. And God loves each and every one of us. So I just wanted to share uh, these end time scriptures with you and um, just share whatever the Holy Spirit is prompting me to share. God bless you today. Amen.